Hey y'all, I'm MyGCat, and today I'm going to show you my Thanos build in Skyrim. If you end up liking this video, please don't be afraid to like this video. Alright, y'all ready? Let's go. Who are you? I went ahead and picked an orc for their look and their heavy armor bonus, but any race with strength or magic bonuses will do. You shall not gain entry. To get the Soul Stone, I got the Soul Trap spell from Phineas in the College of Winterhold. Like the Soul Stone, the Soul Trap spell grants the user power over the person's soul. It was also super helpful to have in finding some of the other stones. This was the easiest stone to obtain. The Space Stone gives you the ability to travel between places in an instant by using portals. Skyrim gives you this ability at the beginning of the game with fast travel. This stone allows you to change reality. There are several spells in Skyrim that have this effect. The ones I chose were Mass Paralysis, Dragon Hide, Telekinesis, and Transmute Ore. I bought Telekinesis from Tolfdeer. I picked up Transmute Ore from Halted Stream Camp, and I got Mass Paralysis and Dragon Hide from Tolfdeer after completing the Alteration Ritual Spell Quest and achieving Alteration Level 100. You can get the lesser versions of Dragon Hide and Mass Paralysis, like Oak Flesh and Paralyze, earlier in the game. But I didn't choose to play this way because I didn't want to have a lesser form of the ability until I got the stone. But you can also look at it as learning to use the stone. This is exciting, isn't it? The Mind Stone controls minds, so I used Harmony and Mayhem to imitate the effects of the Mind Stone. Harmony causes people and creatures up to level 25 to go unhostile for 60 seconds. And I got Harmony after getting the Master Spell books for the College of Winterhold and achieving level 100 in Illusion. Mayhem makes anything up to level 25 fight for 60 seconds. and I got it from Drevis after the Illusion Spell Ritual quest. Illusion really is the least appreciated of the schools of magic. The Time Stone controls time, so the best thing in Skyrim that copies this effect is the slow time shout. You can find its word walls in Hag's End, Corvinjung during the Jagged Crown quest, and the Labyrinthian when doing the College of Winterhold quest. The Power Stone gives you unnatural strength. First I went to the Ratway and got the gloves of the Pelugius. Disenchanted them. Then I used an exploit I first learned from fellow YouTuber This Is Rabo to make the best Fortify enchanting potion. This Is Rabo used this exploit to make better armor. I'm using it a little differently, but it's the same technique, different potion. I will very briefly show you a rundown of the exploit, but if you want a more detailed and focused explanation, I highly suggest you go and watch This Is Robbo's 5 minute video. I'll have a link to that in the description.
Now you can use this exploit indefinitely, but you'll get to God mode pretty quickly. Once I was happy with the strength of my potion, I made several enchanting potions and fortify smithing potions. Now, you're going to want to wait until my next tip before you do your enchanting, but I'll tell you what I did here. I took the Fortify Enchanting Potion and put Fortify Unarmed on my gauntlet and ring. I then went to the workbench, took a Fortify Smithing Potion, and enhanced my gauntlets. To imitate the Thanos snap, I used the disintegration perk in the destruction skill tree. Along with this perk, I took one of my exploited enchantment potions and enchanted my armor, gauntlets, ring, and necklace. To be able to add the extra enchantment to your gauntlets and ring, you'll need the two enchantments perk. This is why I told you to wait earlier. This makes your destruction more powerful so that more enemies will fall victim to your disintegration. Your efforts are in vain. y'all that's it if you have ideas or exploits to make the thanos build better please let us know in the comments thank you so much for watching bye y'all thank you for your help